Hi everybody, Michael Brown here with you. Welcome back to Educator.com's Adobe Photoshop CS6 course. I want to preface this lesson by talking a little bit about what we're going to be doing throughout this entire course. This lesson on quality and the following lesson on color as well as the lessons for Bridge, Camera Raw, and Photoshop that will involve talking about the workspace and keyboard shortcuts and preferences are going to run a little techy. It's not necessarily doing all the wowy stuff that you want to do in Photoshop, but it's talking about the basics. Very necessary stuff because you want to be fluent and understand your workspace, the tools, and so on, so that you can utilize things properly and not get confused. And in the case of these first two lessons here, quality and the following lesson on color. This is more a lecture, but it's vitally important to understand quality in the entire creative process, as well as what color is and all about color, so that you know how this applies automatically to what you're doing in Photoshop. Okay? So let's get started, and we're going to talk in this lesson about the importance of quality. Not necessarily in Photoshop, but in the entire creative process. My mantra for quality and how to always get the best possible quality you can, setting up your camera to get the highest quality images so that when you start with them in Photoshop you already have the best possible image you can out of the camera and you're going to make that one even better. And then I'm going to give you some photography tips that will help you capture the best quality images, not necessarily from an artistic point of view, that's your vision, but from a technical point of view, so that the image itself, you are ensuring that you get the best image of your vision. Okay, let's get started. First, we're going to talk about my mantra for quality, and that is, get this thing zoomed up right, garbage in, garbage out. If you begin with poor quality, the best you can hope to achieve is a poor quality product with icing on it. And it, that's pure logic. If you start with something bad, you can improve it somewhat, but it's never going to get very good because the beginning of the process, whatever the process may be, not just the creative process, you have a poor product. So when we're talking about Starting with the best possible quality and doing your very best at each step of the creative process will result in the best possible finished product. And this is because, especially in our case of the creative process, and what we're talking about here in Photoshop is taking images and improving them. At every step along the way, not necessarily every step, but in most cases, there will be a very slight level of degradation to your image. When you do some retouch, certainly some pixels in that image will get a little muddied out or something, no matter how careful you are. So you want to minimize that so that the next step doesn't suffer from what you did. Garbage in, garbage out, the mantra of quality, always start with the best quality you can and give it your best all along the way to ensure that that finished product is the best you can get. I can't stress this mantra enough. All right, 